So hi, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Kennedy. Today I wanted to film a video that I've been wanting to film for a while. I'm finally getting around to doing it. I wanted to recreate one of my old What I Eat In A Days because if you guys have been around for a while you know that I've been making these videos for almost four years now. I have some pretty old What I Eat In A Days. It's actually really funny to like look back and see how different they are. Like they're so they're so different. So I picked out the video that I want to recreate. I'm going to move things around a little bit just because I don't want to eat what was for breakfast for breakfast. I want to eat it for lunch, I guess. I'll just start with the breakfast. So basically, we just got a good old banana ice cream. I put so many bananas in it. And I'm pretty sure it's just peanut butter, peanut butter, banana ice cream. I will say though, the portions that I used to eat are insane. I used to eat so much food. It blows my mind looking back at it now. <laughs> like I don't know if I'm going to be able to eat as much as I used to. It's so crazy and I can't believe people used to comment on these videos and say like, you need to eat more. I still can't believe it. Oh my god. Okay, I got my smoothie. I put maybe two and a half bananas in here and then like a big old glop of peanut butter. I'm not gonna eat like seven bananas like I used to so okay here's the bowl my younger self would des definitely be disappointed in the size of this it's so small um I'm gonna try and top it like how I used to it was just so weird I'm also like gonna replace oh shit I thought these were strawberries or blueberries or I thought these were raspberries but they're strawberries so no raspberries today We'll do pineapple instead if it's still good. Okay. We're just gonna go for it. Hope for the best. There's so much juice though. And then I'll do some granola instead of pomegranate seeds. Just because granola is way too good not to put on it. But it's the good kind, not the weird kind I was using in that. I don't know what I was doing. And there's my breakfast. Beautiful. I'm so excited. I took a little taste of the spoon whenever I was taking it out of the blender. It's way too good. Alright, my beautiful bowl. I got the shot over there. Now it's time to eat. I'm too excited. I love anything peanut butter. Okay, so here's what I'm going to have for lunch. It's literally just a plain waffle with like strawberries and some fruit, just like some fruit on top and then like drowned in maple syrup. I don't have strawberries, I don't have pomegranate seeds, but I got the waffles, so. But also that's so much waffle. Also, <laughs> I am not a snacker at all, so. My, my face is like slightly red because I went outside, um, but I'm not a snacker, so any snacks in this video I'm just not going to eat because I literally don't have the capacity for it. I don't have the capacity for all of this food, I can't. I'm so shocked that I used to eat this much, and I literally only eat this much because everyone was telling me I wasn't eating enough. For lunch, which is actually breakfast, but I'm going to have it for lunch. <laughs> I ate some waffles. I ate a lot of waffles. Um, and I used to make them with flour all the time, but I don't do that anymore. I make them with oats and like bananas, so. So I actually have some leftover that I already made. Meal prepping at its finest. So I have, what do I have? I have three, I have three waffles. I'm only gonna eat two. I'm not like super hungry. Um, but I'm gonna eat two of these. They're blueberry and pumpkin seed waffles. They're so cute and I'm so excited. So I'm gonna eat those. And I'm going to eat them with this grapefruit. If it's not gross, it might be bad. I'm going to put my waffles in the microwave. If the grapefruit's bad, I'll eat it with a banana. 
Honestly, you might just eat it with a banana anyway. All right, here's a grapefruit. She's not looking that pretty. Let's see how we're doing on the inside. Yeah, I'll eat that for sure. I think it looks great. Maybe a few mushy parts, but that's okay. Tiny little bowl of grapefruit and my waffle. I decided to put bananas on it. Wow, it looks super good. I'm honestly just gonna like drown it in a little bit of agave and call it a day. Okay. I'm so excited. So here's my dinner. It's basically just a burger with some spinach and a bun. And then I had a few sides. I had some corn and some fruit. I'm gonna stick with the corn because I don't really want any fruit right now. But I don't have burger buns and I don't have burger patties. But I do have some toast and I have some vegan chicken that I made out of like vital wheat gluten. So we're gonna use that and it's gonna be like an open faced burger sandwich thing. It's pretty much the same thing. I'm so hungry, so let's go make it. Yee! Okay, so it's ready. I have a big old bowl of corn. It's honestly not that big, but this is two corn cobs. I'm probably not gonna eat it all, but I'm gonna go in on some of this corn. And then this little open faced sandwiches I made. Here's a little like vegan chicken stuff. Basically, it's just some sourdough toast, some, sorry, some sourdough toast, some like whole grain mustard, and then some spinach, tomatoes, and the little, little chicky chickies, vegan chickens that I made. And honestly, I'm so excited. I love the simplicity of like how I used to eat. Like everything just seems so simple and easy and I feel like now I overcomplicate things way too much and I just want it to be easy again. So that's what we're working towards. Also, I don't know if it's this shirt, but it makes me look so like red, tan, I can't tell, but like look at my arm compared to my feet. Okay, so today I have partnered up with Sips by. I partnered <laughs> I partnered up with SipSpy on this video. Basically, it's a subscription box, but for tea. And if you like tea, like I like tea, this is exciting. Like, I waited, I think I waited like a month because it's a, it's a subscription box, so like, they, they all go out at a specific time, you know? So they had emailed me and I waited like a month for it to finally come in. And I was so excited whenever I finally saw it in my mailbox because I'm, I have like two tea bags left and I only drink chai tea. I put like two tea bags in some water and then I froth up some soy milk and then add a little agave to the soy milk and then pour that so it's like half water, half soy milk and it makes the most insane chai tea latte. I drink it every morning at work. So I'm like so excited because they, you don't pick what you get. It's just like they kind of cater it to you. You take a little like quiz about tea and what you like and stuff and you just answer some questions and then they send it to you and just give you some surprises and I love a good surprise. So it had this cute little paper and it says June teas on it and then if you flip it around it says all of the kinds of teas you got, um, the amount of caffeine they have and then like what they do, what they taste like, you know? So I'm pretty damn excited. I got sent some good, good stuff. So you can pick either if you want tea bags or if you want loose leaf tea, and then they will provide you with tea bags. Um, but also, there's this little cloth tea bag looking thing that they put in, put the tea bags in, and I feel like it could totally, totally be used as a re, you can't fucking speak. It could totally be used as a reusable tea bag. So I'm definitely gonna keep that in my back pocket so I can start buying loose leaf tea and not have to like have all the packaging that comes with it but first they sent me a cacao tea which I'm damn excited to try 
and it says like it's a good source of antioxidants, iron, magnesium, and zinc, which is fun. Freaking cacao tea, that sounds so good. And then I got a Moringa mango tea, which I take a Moringa supplement every morning. And the other morning, whenever I was taking the supplement, I thought about it. I was like, what if you made Moringa out of tea? And then I got my box the next day, and it had this in it. And I was just like, oh my god, I'm literally psychic. So I'm really excited to try those ones. And then we got this Nip Nepal, Nepal, Nepali tea, breakfast tea. Uh, my taters are ready. I'm meal prepping. Where's my, where did I put the paper? Oh. Okay, it's this N Nepal tea. It says Nepal breakfast. I have no idea which what this is. It says it has high caffeine. Oh, it tells you how long to steep it for too. That's nice. Ooh, so it's like a chai. We like that one. We are definitely gonna like that one. Organic, organic tea from the Himalayas. And look how cute this packaging is. See, that's just so exciting. I would never think of buying something like this. I'm just like, oh, chai, that's it. Put it in the cart, I'm done. But now I get to try so many tears. Okay, and then the last one I got is this matcha, which you girl loves her matcha. It's matcha and it's cinnamon ginger matcha. So that sounds bomb. I love ginger so much, honestly. Wow, I'm so excited to try these. So yeah. I'm way too excited about this, and I'm so excited to be working with them because how freaking cool is that? A subscription box for tea? Like, hello? I'm not one for subscription boxes because I'm not very materialistic, but whenever you start throwing food in subscription boxes, I will take a dollar. I will take a dollar. I'll link them down below if you guys want to check them out. And if you do decide to get a box, you can use my code Kennedy5 and you'll get $5 off your first box. So, go check it out. Big fan. And I will give you updates if you want to follow me on Instagram on these teas. Um, I'll put updates on my stories. So, that is also linked below. Go check it out. Um, now that I've been like eyeing the sandwich for like the past however long I've been rambling. Those little chickies are good. I used to hate mustard growing up. And I feel like now that I'm adult, I appreciate it so much more. It is so good. If you used to not like mustard growing up and you haven't tried it since, try it. Because, wow. That shit tastes so good. Okay. I hope you guys watched, liked, enjoy. <laughs> I hope you guys liked watching this little throwback video of me making... A bunch of meals that I used to eat all the time. Honestly, it was kind of fun. Kind of the same. But still fun. And I have so many What I Eat In A Day videos on my channel. Literally three years worth. So if you want to go check out some old ones. And subscribe. I mean, why not? You're already here. Yeah, anyways. <laughs> I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Also, I'm 21 now. Just saying, I had a birthday. Just wanted to throw it in there. <laughs>